Happy Lunar New Year! Gameplay of the Lunar New Year pack of Assassin's Creed Valhalla got leaked. Ubisoft announced the release date of this pack already, February 15th, so we already had an idea of what the armor set and the rest of the items would look like, but now we actually get to see them in action. Thanks to Incognito, SB Games, Gamer Little Games, and Andy Reloads who managed to get the files to work in their games already, links of their YouTube channels in the video description. The armor set comes with two variants, Neon and Ivory. The design is incredibly detailed with a demon face on the left shoulder and a tiger on the right. 2022 is the year of the tiger, so that's one of the reasons you will see this return a lot in the set. The helmet mask combination comes with a plume. Wonder if Aver can see anything through there. Very authentic. So the neon one has the color mix of red, yellow, and white, which I really love. And as we see in the hood here, it is white as well. We don't see a cape, but it does have a sort of scarf in the front that I really like. The mask does not appear underneath the hood though, but yeah, I guess it's too big for that. The ivory version comes in silver and red with a little bit more shine. Same design, but it looks more like a warrior ready for battle. When it comes to perks of the gear set, the ivory one gets an increase of 20 health and 15 melee resistance when equipped, and the neon one has ranged instead of melee. And the complete set perk is interesting, and this counts for both sets. Getting hit while surrounded by more than two enemies creates a gust of wind and push them back. An AoE damage effect added to the armor set. Gamer Little Games tried it out here and you can see the enemies indeed being pushed away while there is a gust of wind appearing around Eivor. So it doesn't just stay in one place, you can actually take advantage of this and push everyone away while walking towards them. Seems like they are also knocked down on the ground so they might be easier to kill. The duration is 5 seconds though so you have to be quick. With this pack also comes a mount and a bird skin called Suche, and I hope I pronounced this right. Sunin is rising like a phoenix here, looking at the color scheme and the fire coming off the wings. It is a similar skin from the one we got with the shinobi armor set, looking at the antennas on the head and the tail. And we've got Baihu, which means the white tiger in Chinese, so very fitting. It's massive with the black and white stripes on the fur. The movement and design is similar to the white fang and Svartar mount from the Orl's Hunter and the Dark Knight pack. Looking forward to them nonetheless. Now, getting into the weapons department. We've got two of this set, starting with the Frostfair blade with the nice tiger covered underneath the blade. I really dig this style. Unfortunately, it is not a new weapon type like we first thought. From the picture Ubisoft shared in their blog post, it looked a lot like the Ad Gear. You might have seen this one being used in the Dawn of Ragnarok trailer a ton of times. No, according to the inventory menu, it is a mythical spear. So apologies, we were way off and we gotta wait until the DLC actually releases to try the Ad Gear out. However, that doesn't mean the weapon is boring. On a heavy finisher, a gust of wind appears, deals area damage and pushes enemies back. So similar to the armor set, but more focused and in a straight line. So the gusts of wind can attack enemies around you and interrupt their attacks, for example. Might be great if you need to heal up, but not sure how it will fit in the long run. We will try it out for ourselves when the set releases for everyone. Then the second weapon is the Koton bow, a hunter bow, my favorite. And I also really enjoy the style here with the dragons in the middle and the red golden color scheme. And we've got another perk with a gust of wind effect. It triggers after hitting a target and pushes enemies back. I'm not gonna lie, I... It looks hilarious seeing the enemies fall after hitting them and might be handy if you got two enemies beside each other so you can kill the other off stealthily, for example. It has a 15 second cooldown though, so you gotta wait a bit before yeeting other enemies to the ground. And that was it for the Lunar Year Pack items. We will try out the set when it comes out to everyone. Subscribe to Assassin Raptor to miss nothing on anything Assassin's Creed Valhalla. A like on this video will really help us out and you can check out our previous video on the Dragon Pack items that also have been leaked. For now, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!